Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. In this video of Facebook Marketing Course, I'm going to teach you how to create a proper campaign on Facebook page likes. Basically, how you can get page likes on Facebook. But the thing is, this is not going to be an ordinary video where I'll be showing you just the campaign creation process. No, I'll be showing you why people create a page like campaign, why people use page like campaign and what are the benefits and how if page like campaigns are good then how to decrease the costing of page like campaigns how to increase page likes in the minimum budget possible so let's directly jump into my video and learn about these things so guys welcome back first i'm going to explain you what are the benefits why people run page like campaign and how you can decrease the costing of your page like campaign so that you can get maximum likes on the minimum budget possible right so let's just understand let me uh, decrease the size of bit little bit now the first question arise that purpose of page like why people run page like campaigns what are the benefits of running page like campaign why people directly don't just directly run their sales campaign or conversion campaign so let's see the reasons the first one is increase the number of page likes basically if you are increasing the number of page likes then it helps facebook to understand that this page has authoritative background it means facebook have to give some priority or kind of priority to these uh, authoritative pages right so obviously if you want to increase the page like then you have to run page like campaign then the second one is brand awareness and consideration obviously if you want to uh, do your brand awareness if you want your audience your customers to consider your product or service then page like campaign is a good option then the third option is to increase content reach now if someone is liking your page and if you upload your content on that particular page it means it will organically go to that particular or it will organically show that particular content to the audience who have liked your page right so it will uh, help you to increase the content reach as well and at the end the main we have use of create it will be used to create custom audience right so you can use these page like audience as a custom audience and you can create lookalike audience using custom audience as well so why you can create or basically why you should create lookalike audience because the people who have liked your page interacted with your page are most probably they will purchase the product or they will uh, buy the service you are providing right so if you create using those uh, if you create lookalike audience using those uh, page likers there's a high chance of getting conversions so yes these are the main reasons of running a page like campaign now the thing is there might be one more question that how to reduce page like cost right how you can reduce the costing and get the maximum like possible in your minimum budget so let's see some reasons the first one is use broader audience but if you use broader audience the thing is relevancy can go down yes if you use broader audience definitely the relevancy will go down and getting likes chances will also go down then there's one more uh, option that you can use narrow audience right but the if you use narrow audience it will definitely increase the uh, cost per page like right so oh, let me remove this cost per page like yeah so definitely if you use narrow audience it will increase the cost per page like but there is one more thing you can do from your side which is focus on creative focus on the image or the video content you are using in your page like campaign it can it should be attractive and relevant to your business yes the keep these two points in your mind when whatever the creative whatever the image or the video you are using it should be attractive and relevant to your business okay so this is the uh, normal point which i have cleared here but the thing but the question is still arise that which type of audience we should use so what you can do is you can use or you can create your look alike audience so that you can get better relevancy and if you are getting better relevancy it means you will get good number of page likes and obviously 
it is a lookalike audience which we, which means the number of audience will be good basically good enough and you'll get a good costing right now why i am uh, suggesting you to use lookalike audience well i'm assuming that you have your business oh sorry you have your website and if you have your website you definitely have some visitors previously you have some visitors so you can use those visitors to create your lookalike audience right so in this way you get the first point broader audience and with good relevancy right so you don't have to go with narrow audience or increase the cost per page like right so this is the point now let me show you one example that how a page camp page like campaign looks like or how a page like ad looks like so guys as you can see i have opened an ad over here and this is a page like campaign ad as you can see here you'll be able to see page like button right so in the place of cta where you can add learn more buy now shop now here in page like campaign the cta will be like page this is how a page like uh, ad looks like right so now let's just directly get into my google sorry facebook ads account and create one campaign so guys as you can see right now i'm in my facebook ads account now obviously we are going to create one new campaign so you have to click on create and once this window opens you have to select here engagement right and once you select engagement this will show that good for messenger instagram whatsapp and video views post engagement so these are these are the things which you can basically use uh, so i'm going to select engagement and hit the continue button now in campaign level uh, the thing you can do is basically you can change you can set the name of this campaign so i'm uh, adding page like campaign and we are going to use look alike audience so i'm adding look like and here i'm adding the date right so whatever the date you want to add you can add it here right so this is the name you can add now uh, we are not doing going to do anything here just hit the next button and let's go to the ad set level right now in ad set level first in conversions we are going to select page and once you select the page here you can select the page whatever the page you want to target on which page you want to run your ads so i do have only one so it has been selected and here cost per result goals you can set the basically the cpc basically cost per conversion or cost per cost per result goal you can you want to set basically and this is totally optional if you know that what is the nominal cost for a like then you can add here otherwise you can leave this as it is right you don't have to fill the amount because if you fill the amount let's say you uh, you are filling the amount if it is in dollars maybe you can set 10 cents or 20 cents and if it is not the nominal cost you will not get any likes right or it can cost you very high so uh, you can leave it and if you know the exact number or if you know the proper amount that what is the cost of a like so you can add here right and now we are into budget and schedule section so in budget you can set whatever your daily budget is uh, this is totally up to you so uh, i'm adding around 800 rupees which is around 10 dollars a day right so uh, you can add daily budget or lifetime budget it, it is totally up to you and here you can if you want you can schedule your campaign as well but i don't want to add, uh, schedule my campaign i just want to run this campaign as soon as possible right so i'm not going to do anything here after that here you can select your lookalike audience so you can directly click here and you'll be able to see if you have created any lookalike audience you'll be able to see that uh, particular list here and if you don't have created you can create a lookalike audience directly from here you just have to click here create new let me show you once again create new click on lookalike audience and here you can select the source whatever the source you want to select let's say uh, i want to select this uh, last 30 days all website visitors who have visited my website in last 30 days and then you can select the area basically the location and as i've already told you in the previous videos that you can select countries here only right countries and continents you can't select any city or any specific area or any postal code you have to select countries over here only now after adding the location you can uh, select the 
परसेंटेज ऑफ योर लोकल आइक ऑडियंस सो लेट्स गो विथ टू परसेंट राइट नाउ राइट एंड देन क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट ऑडियंस एंड एज यू कैन सी आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन लोकल आइक ऑडियंस ऑफ माई थर्टी परसेंट लास्ट थर्टी डेज विजिटर्स ऑफ माई वेबसाइट now once it's done if you uh, selected you have selected the custom audience scroll a little bit down and here you can select your placement so you can go with manual placement if you know that uh, where my ads will gonna perform better you can select those placements otherwise you can go with the advantage plus placements and i'll be also going with advantage plus base placements because it is recommended and facebook's algorithm facebook's ai can understand better from us that where our ads are uh, getting more results right so according to those results facebook will change my placement facebook will uh, customize my placements right so i'm going with advantage plus placement now you can uh, hit the next button or we can do one more thing we can change the ad set name here right as you can see we haven't changed the ad set name so let me change the ad set name so we are creating website look alike audience so i'm going to write it here website look alike audience and here i'll be adding the date you can add the date i'm just writing date here right so i've changed the ad set name now hit just hit the next button and we are into our ad level so here first we have to name this campaign so obviously we are going with a uh, website look alike audience so i'm going to add again here website look alike audience and here i'm going to write ad and if it is video you can write video if it is image you can write image right so i'm going right now i'm going with image so i'm adding image here right so website look alike audience add image now the page has been selected scroll a little bit down here you can add your media so let me add image so these are the images which are available if you want you can upload another image let me upload one uh let's go with this one right just upload it it's uploaded now hit the done button and it will be added into your campaign as you can see here now whatever the primary text you want to write you can write it here uh, i'm writing demo 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 right you can add the primary text you can add all the headline and descriptions if you want so after writing all the uh, text you can just directly publish it or you can do one more thing you uh, have just created one image campaign now what you can do is you can create one more campaign for video you can create one video and run your ads with video as well so for that you just have to uh, copy this campaign basically copy this ad not whole campaign so directly uh, click on quickly duplicate and it will be duplicate right and it is duplicated now now what what you can do is you can just change the image to video here and in the ad real estate basically you can change the image you can change the primary text so let me change it to video turn into video upload let's upload one video small video if you if i have in my account or uh, let me let me go back and clear all and select video oops let me go back again and here we have to select the video right now we don't have any video here so what we can do is we'll gonna upload one video right so let me just upload this one this is a small video around 30 40 seconds it is getting uploaded and boom it's been uploaded oh it's stuck yeah now it's done hit the done button and this video is added into our campaign basically our ad now you can add the again you can change the primary text if you want to change and your two specific ads has been created one is with image one is with video now what you can do is you can create one more ad set and for that you just have to click on this three dot button or uh, in the in front of your ad set and click on duplicate uh, let me just quickly duplicate it yeah now it is duplicating and our ad set is duplicated now so what we are going to cha uh, change here we are going to 
do it on a time spent basis so i'll be adding here time spent so that we don't get confused right so time spent i have written here it is not spent it's spent right now in the audience section i'm going to remove this one and i'm going to create new one lookalike audience and here i'm going to select the source in other sources i'm going to select this time time spent right as you can see here 25 percent visitors by time spent so i'll be selecting this one create audience one percent is fine this time and i have selected this audience right so this is how you can create your a uh, proper campaign with two ad set with with four ads i hope you got the point and i hope you understood the process everything is done now you just have to publish the campaign as you can see i'm publishing the campaign obviously we don't have funds in this account so i think yeah it will ask for funds so we don't have funds in this account i'm just uh, creating the demo campaign over here but the process which i have shown you is proper and you have to follow this process as it is and you will be able to create your proper campaign which will help you to get as much as likes with the minimum budget possible right so i hope you like this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this video share this playlist with your needy friends who want to learn facebook marketing i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye